Hello everyone, this is me again. Welcome back on my channel. Welcome back to a new pick a card reading. There will be three parts to choose from as usual. And before I forget it, thank you so, 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 so much <laughs> for all the beautiful compliments and comments on my new look. If you have not yet seen my previous um, reading, feel free to check it out. I will link it up here in the corner. And yeah, otherwise, um, feel free to take what resonates, leave the rest behind. As usual, there will be today three parts to choose from. As I said, this is going to be number one, number two, the greenish, and last but not least, this is going to be pile number three, okay? The timestamps will be delivered down in the description box. And if you ever want a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I am quite busy. So uh, for the next 10 days, I have a lot of things on my plate, but I am available, okay? So if you bring a little bit of patience, I'm there for you. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Let's get started. The next seven to ten days, what do we need to know? What's coming in for us? Let's double check this. Okay, so I'm using different decks. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram, feel free to do so. I have an Instagram account. I will link everything down in the description box, okay? So let's just see, pile number one people, what's coming in? What's around the corner, the next seven to 10 days? What does spirit wants you to know? What's going to be important and what not? Let's see. What's coming in, what to focus on? What to expect? One more card. Let's see. So your spirit animal is the rabbit, first of all. And I find this is very um, interesting. I don't know why, um, but the rabbit in this deck is all about um, freeing ourselves from the victim mode. Okay, it's about liberation. It's about taking back control. It's about stop chasing, stop hunting, stop hoping for some things to happen or maybe to, for someone to come in to connect with you, right? It's about to accept. Like, what will be, will be, and what not, not. So don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit. Um, if you have an eye on something or someone and it sounds like as if this person, this thing, is not really vibing with you right now, let it go. And I know this sounds so easy, this sounds so laissez-faire, as if it's not a big deal, and it is. We all know it is. It is a big deal to detach and to let go and to liberate ourselves. But the truth is, yes, it's not easy, but still it is something that we are supposed to yeah, to learn and to accomplish in this lifetime. And I feel if we don't, spirit is throwing back the same things and people and experiences and learning lessons to us again and again and again repetitively until we do, until we learn to cope with it, with grace and with dignity. So the rabbit for you is all about getting rid of whatever holds you back, getting out of the victim mode, to be brave, to be clever, and you know, like the thing that I just did the other week, like cutting my hair, uh, I'm referring to my previous reading here, and I guess most of you, like 90%, you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about, and if not, as I said, feel free to check it out. Um, so this was a move of, yeah, courage, right? Um, especially as a woman. I mean, we identify ourselves a lot throughout how we look and whether we, um, you know, like 
come out in a fresh way and a beautiful way you know and like with everything that society says how a woman is supposed to be and not to be um so sometimes yes we need to be brave and we need to step out of um whatever it is that you know like out of the box, I want to say, basically. Step out of the box, I'm hearing, for you guys, pal number one. And it's not going to be for everyone out there, like cutting your hair or quitting your job. It can start um, with baby steps, right? Which would be actually my recommendation anyways, like starting with baby steps. And yeah, just trying yourself out. Try yourself out in a lighthearted way. Believe in yourself and know that you are culpable for so much more. Um, we have the improved health card here, which I like to see. It is always a good sign to know that things are getting better, right? Even if you're not sick, even if you're not ill, it's still, it's good to hear that, yeah, energy is thriving, you know, I'm getting back um, in the game. So then we have the Queen of Wands, which is kind of, you know, matching this energy pretty well, I would say. Um, step on your throne, put on your crown, take the scepter in your own hand again, getting back control. Um, and yeah, shine. I feel, I don't know why, but I'm feeling drawn to the sunflower here intensely and I feel like it's time to shine it's time to step out of the dark you are ready pile number one people more than that so don't hold yourself back anymore step outside of your own way I want to say and do it okay just do it um yeah you see this is the joker again I mean the, the message is so straightforward um yeah it's all about getting out of the box you're not mainstream you don't have to be you can you know like define your own standards and you know like your own life the way you want to live it be brave be courageous liberate yourself you are not a victim at least not anymore maybe you've been a victim once and i know like some people of you will be triggered by this you will write me comments no one is a victim and blah 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 but the truth is hey i mean come on let's be honest here and you know me i'm a straight talker i don't sugarcoat so some of us let's just say us right we have found ourselves being a victim being in the waiting list you know, and now it's time to step out of it and to cut cords, like bring everything back to zero, right? Start from scratch, be brave, travel if you want to travel, see everything in a different light. What else do we get? Yeah, leap of face, I'm telling ya, mm -hmm. jump jump pile number one if there is something you always wanted to do jump and go for it okay full stop period this is it this is the reading i have nothing to add to this this is probably a shorty this is very click uh quick <laughs> click very quick and brief but this is it this is the message it's time for you to jump it's time for you to step up you are ready so take this leap of faith be brave be courageous and let's just do this okay this is your message so let's finish this up with one angel oracle card which is the messenger of thought a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you there's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward new information may require changes to your plans and so on review all documents carefully you know will meet or ask someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic, which is actually me, I want to say. And this is probably you as well. So yes, maybe you are not very diplomatic. Maybe you are very straightforward. Maybe you are a truth talker as I am. And this is good. So start to celebrate yourself. Be your own cheerleader. 
don't sugarcoat the things in order, you know, like to make it a little bit more easier for others. Always believe in development and progress. And I believe, and I have victim this lots of times before, that sometimes we have to, you know, like run against a wall because this is where we learn. Like, because if everything is only, you know, like easy peasy and sugar coated, we don't really learn. We learn the most when we fall off from the pedestal. Yes, it's ugly. It's an ugly truth. And I'm not going to win a prize for this, but still, this is what it is. This is life. Okay. This is real life. This is deep talk. This is real talk. And yeah. To you, pal number one, I feel like it's time. You are more than ready. And I wish you good luck. I wish you only the best. Leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe. Let me know what this is all about, where you're at in your personal journey. And yeah, I see you next week with a new reading. Peace out and namaste. Pile number two, the greenish pile. So what do we need to know for you guys? The next seven to 10 days, this is your weekly oracle. I do upload at least once per week. I'm working both English and German, just so you know, if you're new to my channel, I am a bilingual reader. I live in Germany, Frankfurt, and yeah, welcome to my channel, if we have not yet met. So, Let's see, the next 7 to 10 days, what do we need to know for you guys? What's your message? Whoops, this is a jumper, let's take it. One card is flying out of the deck. And I feel this is the first one I'm going to read for you guys. So let's see, oh yeah, already a good start, right, isn't it? Ace of Abundance, which would be the Ace of Coins in a traditional deck. This card brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, assistance in getting things done. Okay, so it's not necessarily just about money. It could be about help, support in different ways, right? So please take notice. It's a good time to start a new venture to change career or go into business for yourself. There might be important contract, contracts to sign. Yeah, so I love that. This sounds awesome. So be open to receive all the blessings, all the gifts from spirit. I feel like this is a very good time um, to start something new, to, I don't know, really try to make it happen, you know, if you have something in your head, any ideas about, you know, like getting self-employed or whatnot, um, especially when it comes uh, to your business and career, this is a very, very good card to get. It's all about chances. It's all about doors opening up for you in whatsoever way, right? So what else do we get for you the next seven to 10 days? Chaos and conflict, wait, the Queen of Wands, which we saw in Pile 1 as well, by the way, and your spirit animal is the Ice Bear. It's about strength and healing. It's about retreating and be a little bit all for yourself for a bit, right? Um, in order to, yeah, connect with your inner voice, your inner wisdom, to really know what you want, right? to define your own standards and it says ich gehe meinen weg i walk my way i do it my way okay i do it my way and i feel like this is such an important message right now i feel right now and if you have not yet seen my previous reading feel free to check it out i have linked it up here in the corner in the beginning um, so you can re-watch it if you have not yet seen it. Um, I feel like the current quality right now when it comes to energy and stuff is all about defining our own standards and yeah, doing it 
our way. Like my way is maybe not your way. Your way is probably not your bestie's way, right? Um, but it's your way and that is so important. And I don't know why this is coming up so intensely right now in all readings, but this is it. This is the, the message. So right now we live in a time quality where it is super important to define our own standards and rules and to also tune in once again and find out what is it that you truly want what is it that you need whom do you want to surround yourself with you know and if that takes a bit take the time right wait before you make any major decisions like okay i cut my job i hate my boss and you know, like Diara just said that it's time to define my own standards, so I'm quitting my job. I, I feel like take it with a grain of salt, as always, right? Never make an important decision based on a card reading. But the quintessence is to, to be honest with yourself. And if this is the truth, I mean, if you hate your boss, if you hate your job, if you hate your life, then yes, it is time to change something. Definitely, it is time. What it is that you should change, I don't know. It's your job to find out, okay? This is not a card reader's job on YouTube to tell you what to do and what not to do and what is right or wrong or black and white, but it's your job, right? It's your life. And la vida hay una sola. We only have this one lifetime right now, so make the best out of it. Um, be like the queen of wands right it's wands it's about action it's about doing things right not just waiting not just hoping not just watching not just thinking about stuff it's about doing things okay it's wands it's fire it's sun energy shine your light step out of the dark pile number two that's your message for the next seven to ten days um, is there anything else we should address? Let's just see. Any other message that wants to pop up? Pile number two people. Watch your diet, okay? Take care of yourself. Pamper yourself with good food. And not just food, it's actually everything that you put into your system, whether it's books or news or what you see, what you hear, right? Maybe it's time to um, stop listening to the radio for three days. Put it off. The same with TV. The same maybe with your cell phone and social media. Stop doing it for a while. Detox cleanse your system in every meaning of the word right and this will bring you closer to your own messages to your own truth right anything else last but not least is there anything else that wants to be seen here today in this reading let's just find it out Part number two people yeah, make a strategy. I feel like the best recipe against chaos and conflict is having a good strategy, right? So if you feel like overwhelmed in one particular department of your life, or maybe like generally, maybe you have the, the feeling that your whole life is falling apart and whatnot, um, take time, right? Step back. We saw the ice bear and I told you it's about stepping back and be alone for a while to find out what is my way. What is my way? I mean, I guess we all know the song Frank Sinatra. We all love it probably. We like to play it and New Year's Eve and stuff. But what is your way? I mean, he is telling us, like Frank is sharing with us this song, talking about his way, but what's your way? What is your way, pile number two? Find it out. Take time to define your own strategy and your own way and ways. Your boundaries, you know, like get rid of the obstacles, be honest, be truthful, right? And yeah, 
Know that something beautiful is waiting for you on the other side. Having said this, I leave it here. Thank you so much, pile number two. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So this message is reaching more and more people who will also benefit. And otherwise, I wish you only the best. Peace out. Namaste. Last but not least, pile number um, three. Pile number three. What do we need to know for you? Next seven to ten days, what's coming in? What's your message? So the bottom line of your reading, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than the first two piles. I know I have some cross watchers, but um, we have the decision making card, okay? Leap of faith. I feel pile number three, you are about to make a very brave, courageous decision. And spirit is telling you that, yes, go for it. It's time now, okay? You have everything that it needs to make it happen and to go for what you dream of. Okay, so be strong, be brave, believe in yourself. Message number one. And yeah, responsibility, uh-huh, exactly. Um, so this is a perfect match, I wanna say, like res taking over responsibility, defining your own, you know, like standards and whatnot and setting boundaries like stepping out of the victim mode don't be triggered by this word please por favor <laughs> i've been to costa rica the other week so i want to speak spanish here my spanish is so bad um but <laughs> for whatsoever reason i wanted to say por favor so yeah please take the responsibility right you have the key to success and to your own dream life in your hand Right? What else do we get? Pile number three. So these two cards alone, all by themselves, are so strong. This is such an important message, I would say. Like, make decisions. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate any longer. Go for it. And take over the responsibility to your own life. Um, so, bottom of the deck, ten of coins which is the abundance card so if you do this if you make a decision if you take over responsibility again it will lead you towards um, abundance right and then we have the king of swords he's coming out in reverse and i wonder whether this has something to do with your love life so let's take the love oracle deck and let's see who is he who is the king of swords Maybe your decision, maybe this responsibility card is talking about cutting someone out of your life, right? Particularly this king of swords, cut him out. If he's no longer doing good to you, if you feel like, ah, oh, this is a toxic relationship, this is someone who has not the best interest in mind when it comes to me and our relationship and stuff, and you have probably been in a situation where you have given this man, this person, not necessarily a male person, but I guess like the majority, um, if you have given this person way too much responsibility over your life, it's probably time to get it back, okay? Take back the control, part number three. What else? What is this all about, this King of Swords card? Yeah, you will be in contact with this guy very soon. He's probably reaching out and this is going to be a nice conversation, I feel, okay? A conversation from heart to heart, finally. And you already know this guy. This is not someone new. This is someone from your past, past life relationship. And he is about, and it's his turn, you know, to make the effort, Maybe you did it all in the past. Maybe you have been the one working on this relationship and, you know, like putting all eggs into one basket and stuff. But now table is turning, I feel. Table is turning and now he, you know, like the ball is in his court, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, this is the yes card. Mm-hmm. 
this is the yes card so i don't know why but i'm hearing reconciliation could be that um to sum it all up i mean in a nutshell i would say a guy from the past is coming back um with maybe you know like an excuse you know um this is all about apology this is all about conversation from heart to heart truth speaking getting closer again and it's about to happen soon right sooner than you think maybe right and again this is the abundance card so this conversation this reconciliation this meeting this date is turning into something good right this is what i see so yeah beautiful message what's your spirit animal Ooh, yeah healing the snake the snake is all about healing is all about expansion it's all about um renewing yourself inventing yourself like um rebirth metamorphosis transition right um Ooh, it's about uh, yeah it's expanding towards your highest potential right you are growing and you've been growing a lot pile number three and I feel like this whole situation is about to expand to develop to grow to progress a lot um, within the next couple of days and maybe even weeks and months right this is not about a one night stand situation and i'm talking in a metaphor here i mean probably literally for some of us but um i'm just using this this wording to point out that this is something that will grow into your future a lot right um so yeah i i want to leave it here honestly saying so um i know this was pretty on point and not so long but a very intense message nevertheless so yeah have an eye on this guy who's walking in who's coming back and give him a second chance right because this person himself has grown a lot over the past and now he's coming with new intentions so at least you want to listen to them whatever you decide afterwards is probably something else to discuss but at least listen okay okay so thank you so much um everyone out there um i hope you like this reading don't forget to share like and subscribe and i see you with my next reading peace out namaste